All right, so we are getting ready for Q1 here at Thunder Alley, a little Wednesday night club action. It's gonna be some fun. Cars are feeling pretty good. I went ahead and broke in two sets of the clay slicks. They felt really good after two runs. We're just using the um, TDK tire sauce. Didn't do anything too crazy to the car setup wise. I'm running a pretty standard setup. The only change that I did that I normally run is a um, the inner rear link of the car is in the up position. I put it down. Um, car was just a little squirrely coming on to some of the straights and when I went down it just transferred weight faster and it stayed planted. So feels pretty good. We will see how this goes in Q1 and I'll be back. My buggy? Yeah. Yeah. It has all the stuff in it. Mostly the plastic stuff is the big difference. No carbon at all? Carbon? Oh, the chassis? No. Um, it's got the ring gears. Those are plastic. The internals, those are plastic. And then titanium, everything. That was my way to get Josh out of the class. Didn't work though. So uh, we're gonna have Mr. Shane on the mic for this one. Thank you, Shane, for your help tonight. Shane is on the tech now until round two. Okay, we still need to get a check from uh, Ryan Harris. If you come up across the line for me, please. Just Ryan Harris. I'll drag you in. All right. He's going to go on the tone. It's going to be Brad Clifford, Ryan Harris, Mike Clean, Josh Harris, Christopher Kendall, Mike Cabello, Danny Davis. Job, we're going to stand. If you're ready to see a thumbs up, everybody's going to go. All right, we're going to start this one with Trey Big Longhorn on the tone in less than five. Brad, Ryan, Mike, Josh, Christopher Kendall, Mike Cabello, Dean Davis. Our drivers are underway. Thank you. Okay, have a bad check. Clear. Watch out of the loop, watch out of the loop, watch out of the loop. Watch the loop center, actually. Watch the loop center, actually. Watch the loop center. 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 Brad Clifford got Christopher Kendall got Ron Harris got So they're out there doing a little bit of track prep after qualifying. Done and dusted, so we grabbed the TQ going into the main event for 13.5 Wheeler. It is a money race tonight, so that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll be able to take some gas money home. <laughs> But um, really awesome people out here at the track. Smaller track, but man, they really pack in a lot of what I would consider just some top tier features. They got a nice rhythm section in front of the driver's stand. They have a really tricky kind of like off camber, like single lander, really interesting. Uh, really cool little wall ride over in the back there. Not too hard, but still kind of fun. And then a, a simple but challenging little uh, chicane here coming onto the front stretch. So. Pretty simple layout around the track, but lots of fun. Really glad that we came out here. Um, tire prep seems to be pretty easy. Uh, most of the track, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's a slick style track, pretty straightforward. I think that some of the two wheel guys, guys um, Charlie Jimenez over there, he was saying that he was running some like low, low, low ghost tread to help with the dust in the, in the two wheel, but nothing too crazy. Um, tire sauce, like I said, TDK, just putting that on about 10 minutes before the run. Hitting the track, going out there, and uh, it's doing just fine. Still a nice brush, brush motor in that car. No brush days. Oh, brush days. 
Is there still a nice brush, brush motor in that car? With that big 750 motor? Sold it years ago. My white body did. <laughs> Back in the day. A lot of these cool vintage cars out here on display for this cool little uh, Wednesday night club race. Really awesome stuff. A lot of these cars are older than me. I never raced them. A couple of these, I know that my dad had one of these a long time ago. And then let's see, I know that we definitely had a couple of these Blackfoots back in the day. And then that RC10 over there, I'm pretty sure that when I painted this body, I was looking at that one and I copied it. I'm pretty sure, because you can tell by the signature on the body that it was painted by, um, I think it's Andy's Vintage Paint, I think. I'm not really sure, but really cool stuff that they brought this out here for us tonight. Come on. Come on, puppies. We got it. Hey, Billy, wait, wait, wait. It's going to take off. Third spot. Greg Josh Harris done, Greg Smith done. Good luck. Thanks, man. You too. Oh. Can I set my trim? I can't make a lap. I gotta make eight minutes. All right, we're going to go on the tone in less than five. Oh, we've got to come on the jacket tail. Does that make a roll? Go to the wall ride. Let's see what's going up there. we got Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris. My friend Cabello over the line. Pretty tight right race there, that's the second separation. Taking a half between my thing and Josh Harris. Watch the back trip. Clear. Alright. Yeah, Josh Harris throw it away. Ryan Harris, 2.2 seconds back. My thing, 1.3 back. In third, Mike Cabello in fourth. At the second behind third. Fifth, Mike Clean, and six, Danny Davidson, seven. It's only one close race to the track right now. I'm going to put the pinball in my team. I'm going to take it up Second and a half separated. Mr. Harris going in the back strip. He's getting a pretty wall ride. He's getting a third wheel on top of the pit. Watch out at the seventh there. Back in the way. Oh, well, let's back six, back six, clear. Right now we got Josh Harris out front, Ryan Harris in second, Mike Cabello in third, Brad Pickett in fourth, Mike Cannon in fifth, Christopher Kimmel in sixth, Danny Slater in seventh. Mike Cabello in fourth, Ryan Harris in third, Mike I believe that Terrence might have put a lap on the uh, second place there on the field. He's still pulled away. 
I want to pass people now. So. <laughs> See that Josh Stairs right there. Mark Cabello is right here for the Adams. A second behind Mark Cabello down at that third position. So we're going to play down the end of the first trip. I'll take the end of the first trip. Clear. Very quick as we get the third. Mark Cabello is fourth. Mark Cabello is fifth. Chris McKendall in sixth. Danny Davis in seventh. Still has Josh Harris going away with Mr. Ryan Harris in second. Danny Davis from two sets. That's the rest of 15.94. Two minutes remaining, driver. Cabello had a second behind Brad Cliff, is fighting for that third position. Josh Terrace from the line in front of him, he makes his way over the gym section. Heading towards the wall ride. Mr. Ryan Harris in second, 17.42 seconds behind. Brad Cliff and Mike Cabello still battling for that third position. Three seconds. He won't be here in any call, guys. Chris Hawkins is done. Mike Cabello is right quick as you're done. Mike, Mike, please, you're done. Mike, please, you're done. Yeah. Good jobs. They're torturing my poor wife. So, it's obviously going to take me a few days to take this bitter defeat by the one and only Josh over here, but there's a little bit of a story behind it. See, I decided it'd be a brilliant idea to talk some smack on the internet, and uh, Josh, how did, how did you feel about that, and then you got this uh, sweet little redemption here? Pretty fun. Yeah, ask you to the fire, man. It's just fun to do it. What, I mean, um, the smack talk always is fun on the internet. But it was pretty close all day long, oh, honestly. Yeah. Like, we kind of knew that in the main it was going to be a close race. Oh, yeah. It was close all day between me and you. I know we kind of stretched out ahead of the rest of the guys. It was going to come down to who made the less mistakes, I felt like. And good yeah. battle all day, for sure. But then he's just too fast, and he decided to lap me instead. So, there's that. <laughs> but it was a really fun day. Josh, thank you for making it a fun day. But, of course, we all know you won, but I at least got hot. I got hot <laughs> Charlie, are we, are we going to see you at Masters? Yes. Masters, you guys know what's up. Josh, are you going to Masters? Yeah. Masters, you guys know what's up. We're all going to Masters. Yeah. Okay, wait, before I close this video out, like, give me two of your favorite things about Masters. Uh, the competition level, for sure, is the coolest thing. You got guys from all over the country. I mean, the best guys pretty much in RC are going to be there this year. I know it's, it's going to be a packed house, and there's always a sick layout. I mean, it's always going to be a cool track to race on, and it's going to be a good time. Okay. <laughs> Charlie, tell me, two two reasons why you like Masters Dessert. Um, it's probably one of the bigger races I've ever been to. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's it was a it was a trip last year. I struggled a lot. It was uh, a lot different than what I'm used to. Um, I'm from Cali, so it, uh, track was a lot different. I haven't been racing off road last year a lot, um, but this year I'm ready, and I'm, okay. it's supposed to be like record breaking numbers this year or something. Obviously, I don't, I don't know if they're doing a cap or whatever, but it's gonna be great. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, we're going to go for a redemption with Josh at Masters, so we'll see if we can make it happen. We'll see Charlie there. We'll see who wants to send this thing out. Do the thing. Do the thing. He won. He gets to do it. Come on, send them out.